Okay, folks. I have been continuing to examine this new discovery. It's new for me. This new discovery of the TM movement. TM stands for Teaching Mission in the Urantia world. Now, in the Urantia movement, there's been this split, one of several splits, perhaps the biggest split, and it revolves around the teaching mission, or well, I guess what was formerly known as the teaching mission. And the teaching mission involved hundreds, if not thousands, of light trance, meaning conscious trance channels, people consciously still partially aware while they're kind of parroting messages that are supposedly channeled from these celestial entities. The same entities that supposedly were behind the Urantia book. Now, of course, as you can imagine, there are a number of people within the Urantia movement that think that it's a bunch of hooey and, uh, and nobody's channeling anything. They just imagine they are. And then there's a substantially large body of individuals that do think that there's something to the channeling. And uh, I think a lot of that has to do with what is coming through at the time, at the moment. And currently, there are a lot of, I say currently, a lot of the stuff I'm reading came from the 90s. Well, the 90s, early 2000s. Uh, but um, there's a lot of material that uh, really makes sense. It really fits well together. And to the extent, well, I, I could almost say perfectly matches with the information we get from the deep trance channels, such as Casey and, and Douglas Cottrell, etc. Um, and like, like in the last two addresses, you can go look at those. I talked about the two key areas that were big red flags. One, that there was substantially, apparently, plagiarized material in the Urantia book. And two, that it, the Urantia book claimed there's no such thing as reincarnation. Well, and in my other address, I point out how in this new teaching mission, there has been channeled information where it's been pointed out how both of these, basically where both of these concerns were answered, and they were answered quite well. What is apparent, however, is that there is a some a key aspect to the truth, to reality out there regarding reincarnation that is not being revealed at this time. Apparently there's some kind of potential hang-up there, or some kind of stumbling block, or for some reason something that somebody doesn't want us to know right now. And apparently the fact that these deep trance channels have leaked out things is kind of outside of the plan. Now I don't don't take that to mean that the perspective of the deep trance channels is 100% accurate, meaning, meaning that there is reincarnation in the sense that everybody thinks there is. I think it's apparent that there's, there's a lot more depth to this thing, a lot more depth to that question, a lot more depth to ourselves, what consists of our identity, and to what degree are we connected with each other and connected with the grooves that we leave and people before us has le have left in reality, in the fabric of space-time itself, as they live out their lives. So, that can be subject for a further conversation. What I really wanted to get on to with this address was this subject of this teaching mission. Now, as I've gotten into it, the more I've read, yes, there does appear to be some kind of flaky stuff out there, and but there's a lot of really good stuff, really, really good stuff. And, and it seems like there's a few key channels that deliver some of the, the really big information from some of the really big celestial entities. Um, just, just from what I've looked at at the surface. I, I mean, there's so much out there. I've just scratched the surface. And it's hard to tell you where to even start. Um, I think a good place to start is mongeronson.com. I'll put the link to it with this video address in the description. 
Um, and at monjuronson.com, that's supposedly like a, a nexus for all information regarding Monjuronson. And in the, you're, you kind of have to understand the Orantia lingo to understand half these readings. So it really helps to have read the book or a lot of the book first. Or at least you can go back to like the Orantia webpage, pick your favorite one, and where you can search for terms like what is the Morantia realm, what is a magisterial sun, what is this, what is that, where you can look those up. But for those of you that know a little bit about it or are curious, whatever, or are going to look it up, what. <laughs> Monjuronson is supposedly a magisterial sun. Now, a magisterial sun is, in, in an evolving world such as the Earth, a magisterial sun is someone who typically comes down at some point in the primitive stages of the planet's development. So this would have been like, you know, 500,000 years ago in the Earth's past or something like that. And establishes a little teaching center and then continues on for God knows how many millennia to help mankind advance. So the magisterial mission, the magisterial sun, is a key aspect to the development of an evolving world where things are really structured and, and we're really helped along and, and the evolution then occurs much more quickly and on a much more firmer foundation. Um, but because for many reasons, the Earth, our Earth is atypical in this evolution apparently and has been. So according to the Eretia thing, this whole thing, uh, we are just now getting a magisterial son, like in, like now, now, like this year is like the first time he's apparently actually incarnated in the flesh and he's somewhere out there right now visiting people or something. Uh, and so, and he was communicating that he was going to come like in the last several years so people knew about it, at least these people in this movement, and they started this webpage. And so if you kind of want to know, okay, what's going on now? What's the status of things? go there first and they have kind of a timeline and that's where I'm at right now. I'm going through the timeline as a PDF document and you can kind of follow the key points of what's happened to when, what's going on, because apparently things are changing rather quickly and they have been in the last 20 years or so. Uh, but that's that's the gist of it. Apparently this magisterial son has arrived. His name is Monjuronson. He's going to be with us for one hell of a long time and also he's Starting, the plan, I guess, is to start very small, very small, very low, low impact, very low key, so as not to make waves, so that humanity can kind of adjust to having an, an enlightened individual together with them on the planet for the first time, at least the first time in a very long time. Is this guy Jesus? Is he God? No, 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 no. Uh, yes, Christ Michael, who is apparently the creator son for this local corner of the universe we live in. Uh, yes, he is apparently supposed to come back, and yes, he is, from a certain perspective, the Son of God. So, But still, when he's being worshipped, he always points to the Father. That's the overall trend here. You know, the only one to be worshipped is supposed to be God the Father. But uh, anyway, so no, this Mondronson guy is not God. You're not supposed to worship him or anything. He's just somebody apparently very advanced, a celestial being. He's not an evolving human or anything. He's here to help us and to establish some kind of structure. He's, he's not here to at least establish an over-controlling government and take over everything and start giving orders. He's just here to help and provide structure, I guess. That, that's what I gleaned so far. But don't listen to me. To get the real story, just go to mondronson.com and check it out. But I just wanted to kind of spread the word that this is huge. Uh, my focus is on deep trance channels, channeling in general. You know, as I've as I've begun to learn from the Betty book and other sources, and now from this new Urantia channeling movement, I've begun to learn that the shallower trance levels can also involve some valid channeling. I've started to pay a lot of attention to that too, and and apparently there's just a ton of this type of channeling in this teaching mission that is now just uh, has become the magisterial mission, I guess. Now that Monteronson is here. But anyway, it continues to happen, and there's just a ton of information out there. Some of it is probably crap, but there's a lot of it that apparently is good and is right on. So go to the tmarchives.com, go to monjuronson.com if you're interested. Check some of the stuff out, and there definitely will be more to come as I learn more. But uh, I don't know, it just seems really positive to me, Some lots of good stuff afoot. So share and enjoy.